Hey everybody, it's Jazz and Naila. Today is Money Monday and the topic is financially abusive relationships and we're gonna focus on marriages in this video. Do you know that there are marriages where spouses are pimping each other out financially? What do I mean by that? I mean that one spouse is good with money and one spouse is bad with money. And the spouse that is bad with money continually abuses the spouse that is good with money. A couple of examples of what that looks like. The spouse that is bad with money takes loans from the spouse that's good with money, but not any type of loans. I'm talking about 401k loans. The bad spouse does something stupid enough that they need a bailout and they come to the other spouse and they ask them for that bailout without a care in the world. And that spouse will give it because they're a giver and because they're good with money and because they say that they love their spouse and they don't want their spouse in any type of predicament. That's financial abuse. Another situation is you have relationships where everything is separate. All the money is separate up until a spouse has a financial issue and a financial issue they should be able to handle. For instance, a spouse gets in a car accident you gotta pay a thousand dollar deductible. You know this, you bought the insurance package. But when you get in that accident, all of a sudden you gotta call your other spouse to ask for that money so that you can get your car fixed. When you keep your money separate because you, you actually wanted to keep it that way because you don't want your spouse knowing what you're doing with your money. You don't want your spouse knowing how much money you have. But it's convenient for her to know or him to know when you're in a crisis. That's financial abuse. That's manipulation. Another situation of financial abuse is existing with people keeping money separate and secret. So I keep my money in one pot, but it wasn't always that way. There are people in relationships that have side accounts. And in those side accounts, there's tens of thousands of dollars and their spouse knows nothing about it. Not that they need to access it, but literally, it's an intentional secret kept from the other spouse. Now, I don't know how that is a relationship if you're keeping secrets about money. Because to excel and to exceed requires transparency. And that's not being transparent. Now, people are giving excuses about the reasons that they're keeping money secret is because um, I was told I always need to have a stash in case something happens. You never know this relationship may not end, uh, may not go the way that I planned it to go. Well, you should have your stuff in order enough that you know how to bounce back from whatever situation that you that transpires. Meaning, if you're operating at your highest level, you should be able to recover from any type of relationship crises that you encounter if it dissolves for some reason. So... I'm not buying that excuse. What I am hearing, which is the real reason that we're doing this, is because we really don't know whether we wanna be in this relationship. We wanna keep secrets, and this is just one of the secrets that we're keeping. We want to do what we wanna do, and we don't want nobody telling us what to do. We really don't wanna be wealthy and leave a legacy. Um, we want that, but you know, we rather have our financial freedom right now and do the things that we want to do. In addition, we want to hold on to the generational curses that our family have gone through. You know, grandma, great grandma, her husband had a whole side family on her and um, I'm not going to be her. And grandma, she used to get the, the snot beat out of her and her man used to manage all the money because that's a key indicator in domestic violent relationships is cut off the spouse financially. Or, you know, your mom, she um, was cheated on all of the time. And when she wanted to leave, she didn't have any money or a job or anything to leave. That's not your reason for keeping secrets. Your generational mess has nothing to do with being transparent today and to achieve, uh, ch achieve goals for tomorrow. So we really need to cut this financially abusive stuff off and treat our spouses like a spouse like a partner, like someone that we love, like someone that we wanna build with, someone we wanna stay with, someone we want to financially flourish with. If that's not what you wanna do, then you really need to reconsider the relationship that you're in. 
I'm Jasmine Naylor. Today's Money Monday, and I help believers take off financial handcuffs so they can manage and multiply money God's way. Have a great day.